No, no, Steve, not the brown hole. Let's go fish the blue hole. And that's the blue hole. Okay. And that's where the big tailor are morning and evening. A really exciting place to fish. So tell me a little bit about how it works and what's called the blue hole. Well, the, the, uh, you can see the surf breaking here behind us. The water tends to wash uh, from south to north. You cast a little bit to the south, let your bait drop into the hole. But there are other ways to fish here as well. That's right. Now, one of the most exciting ways of catching big tailor is to use one of these. And that's called a popper. Now a popper is a lure that sits on the surface or just under the surface and it skims along quickly and it actually creates a bubble trail behind the lure which we call smoke. Now for some reason enormous tailor absolutely love this so when you're working a reef for really big tailor try using a popper like this Yozuri tiger here and it's very exciting fishing. Now I'd love to stay here and have a few casts of my favourite tailor but it's going off on the Kalbarri Explorer so let's go back there and see what's coming up now. As the afternoon was starting to draw to a close, Glenn took us to his secret Samson fish spot and it didn't take long for things to really heat up. Yeah, righto guys, chuck them in, looks alright here. Smell a fish. Pop your shark. Checking his head. Everyone's catching Samson fish, yeah. but me! I can't get the lines in the water every time I try and drop down. You two catch something into the side. This is a fair size. It is, isn't it? It's not small. Because you're not exactly using the sport fishing tackle there, no, right? No. <laughs> Have you finally got colour? Where is it? It's gone under the floor. Just coming up. Just here it is. Here it is. Oh, that's very big. Good size. That's very big. Well, nice fish. There you go, Dan. You said you wanted a Samson fish, yeah. didn't you? No, actually, that was me. Sorry. I oh, know you yeah. didn't bought one. Just get oh, one. Tiny little, tiny little hook in there. Now, try and slide this gap up. Like a surgical operation, this. I don't want to hurt the fish. There we go. Perfect. Here we go. Whoa! Thank you, Steve. That's a monster. Yeah, drop that. Oh, nice careful with the fish. I'll try and keep the fish off the ground because it's dry on the ground. And uh, there's a tail. That's excellent. There's the head. I'm going to get the cap out. <laughs> oh, it's not mine. <laughs> Someone help me with this. It's your fish. You pick it up. Come on, Dad. It's a lovely oh, fish. Oh. There you go. Just hold on to there. Show everyone at home what a Samson fish looks like. A lovely fish. <laughs> and they're cool Samson fish because it takes two people to stop them and hold them up. That's about it. What do you reckon he weighs? Oh, I'd give this one 15 kilos at least. Very nice. Very heavy. What a fabulous fish. Fantastic. But I haven't got one yet, so let's pop him back. Alright. Get off the bottom, 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 get off the bottom please. Please get off the bottom. It's going to work out how to talk to him. <laughs> Gee, why are they called Samson fish? I don't know. Maybe because they rip their arms off. Get out from under the boat. <laughs> oh, that's not fair. We're in big trouble now. Get out from under there. Oh. That's it. Swim to me. Swim to me. Well, it's back-breaking work. Did he go under the boat, did he? Yeah, he did, but he's come back out now. I think I might have beaten him, but it's not massive. But it's a good fish. Any sambo's a good sambo, as far as I'm concerned. He's taken a nice bit of fresh bait. Samson fish. Oh, it's a good one, too. We'll go to the back of the boat, eh? By the time I had my fish landed, Dan had yet another one coming in. Oh, we've got a Samson fish production line happening now. All right, you're ready to go, eh? Fantastic. Well, before I release yet another Samson fish to fight another day, Calvary Explorer, this charter is unbelievable. Today we've had Jewfish, we've had Pink Snapper, we've had Bald Chin Groper, we've had Samson fish, we've had more fish than you could ever want to catch in a day, so I highly recommend it. When you're in Calvary, give the Explorer a go. Okay, bring me the fish, let's, let's do it again. <laughs> The great thing about Kalbarri is no matter what kind of wind conditions or weather conditions you've got, there's always something to do. And there's always plenty of locals that are quite happy to help you out with a great fishing spot. This is Aaron and he's an expert on mangrove jack. And he's brought me to his favorite little reef, which is just a little bit offshore. We've had a bit of a wade to get out here. So mate, the rig's really simple. Show us how you've rigged up to catch these mangrove jacks. Just used a little barrel, sink, a little barrel sinker, a swivel, and a little leader, and a hook. 
Thanks. Quite a big hook yeah, too, yeah. isn't it? Oh yeah, num number four I think it is. Now we put the, if you hand over your bait there, mate, yeah. it's really simple, isn't it? All you do is you peel around. a little bit of the prawn off like that, yep. and you put it on tail first? Yep, tail first, just feed it around the barbs. Simple, okay, yeah, just like top. that, yep. right up to the top of the shank, and there you have a baited hook. What yep. could be easier than that? And then we just chuck it over the side of the ledge. And get a mangrove jack. Get a mangrove yeah. sounds yeah. easy, doesn't no, it? Right. You make it sound yeah. too easy. <laughs> That's a good fish, mate. Yeah. I might help you land that, yeah? Yeah, but just don't touch the line, please. No, no, I won't. They he's usually swim out? Yeah, he's gone underneath the ledge. Okay. It's pretty treacherous around oh. here. Oh, you lost him. Oh, it snapped me on the rocks there. Oh, well. That's a good fish. They're obviously around. Yeah, it's spilling. <laughs> Ah well, you can't win them all, but that fish did look pretty good, so we're encouraged, and it didn't take long before Aaron was hooked up again. It's a good jack too. It's a good jack. Beautiful. Oh, he surged off when he saw me. Always keep calm when you get your fish close to those rocks, because this is where you're going to lose them. Yeah, it's a mangrove. Mangrove? Yeah, jack. How wonderful, what a great fish. We'll just whip that hook out of there and show everyone. Now, off this reef, there's some wonderful fishing. That is a little mangrove jack and I've just, he's pretty slippery. He's gonna get away if I'm not careful. And they're really quite a fearsome hunter. They've got fantastic teeth, needle sharp when they're small. And normally they're quite a brilliant red but it depends on where you catch them. Oh, sorry fella, he's slippery and he's spiky too. I'm going to put him back before I hurt him or myself on this rough little reef. And they're very hardy. They're very hardy little fish. This dorsal fin comes right up. Off he goes just like that. First mangrove jack of the day. I'll tell you what, this Aaron, he can certainly fish on this little reef here. I'm not sure Aaron was too keen on me letting his fish go like that, but he kept pretty quiet about it. As the sun started to go down, the mangrove jacks left and the brim came on the bite. Yes. I'm on. Actually, it's got a bit of weight, this fish. Oh, keep out of the rocks. Oh, it's a brim. He's just come up and he's gone back down again. Get away from the rocks. Oh, oh. Get away. Oh, got him. Get his head up. What a lovely brim! Have a look at that. Now it's quite silver, but that's actually what we call a black brim. He's got a black tinge and quite a purpley look. And these ones have quite yellow fins here in Kalbarri. I'll get that hook out of him and I'll give you all a closer look. Aren't they a pretty fish? Lovely yellow fins and they're very hardy. And a fish of that size, believe it or not, is going to be around five years to six years old. They grow very slowly. And for that reason, I like to put them back. Even though this one is a legal size, I'm going to pop him back to grow even bigger. There you go, fella. Beautiful. Oh, come here, come here. Oh, what a great brim. Oh, that's a beauty. Oh, wonderful fish. Just as that sun's starting to set. Just get that hook out. Once again, those Gamagatsu shiner hooks are so good at hooking these brim. They've got that nice wide gate, the bend. And the result is a beautiful fat brim. He'd be about a kilo. But as I always do, I'm gonna pop him back. Nice and carefully, okay. and there we go. How do you feel? Here you go. Off you go. Well, there you go, Aaron. Thanks for sharing your spot with me. It's a bit of a secret spot, I know. It's not secret anymore, so okay. don't tell anyone. It's between you and me and Aaron here. Thanks a lot, mate. I've had a great time on the rock. No Kelbarry, there's so much you can do here. Mm -hmm.